Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to a new video of Triple Grace. My name is Michael, I am the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And the topic of this video is the angelic transport. Brothers and sisters, we know and understand from the scripture that the throne of God is on the wheels, within the wheels, within the wheels. But they also represent the cherubim, an angelic transport for the Father through so all of times and dimensions. And now people have asked me, how will the angelic, how will be the transport to the portal take place? And I have seen and heard from many sources, including the Holy Spirit, that angels will come to transport us to the portal. They will come into our places. We don't have to do anything. We just have to wait for them. They will come into our places and we are called to step on their feet. Then they will hold us. And as soon as that is done, the angel will then swoop us from our place through the portal into our destiny. It sounds fantastic, but that is how it will be. So, re re revealed so many dreams and visions and understanding and words given by the Lord. An angelic transport will take place that will take us through the portal. And I have made videos about that. And I have made a video about that where you have a glimpse of eternity, the moment when you go through the portal. But it's all for the benefit of the new beginning, your new place, and that you are connected to new Zion and that you are a harvest worker and powerful warrior for the kingdom of God. For such a time as this, it is coming now. And I pray and, and hope that it will be this month of February where the portal will open, where we will all go. First the escape of the innocent, then we walk with Jesus, and then it might all come to pass. The portal can open as early as the escape of the innocent in this month of February. Brothers and sisters, this is also a kind of elevator. And maybe the person that I'm waiting for, as I have told you in that vision, the person that I'm waiting for to join me in the elevator is actually an angel who is coming to carry me up and then we go up and then on the next level we will then meet Jesus. That all would make much sense. But one thing is for sure, brothers and sisters, it cannot be stopped anymore. This is a moment when you have to stand ready to meet your bridegroom and to enter your destiny and purpose. An angelic transport. You will be standing, for example, you will face the window, the angel will come, he will stand behind you, he will lift you up and put you on his feet and he will hold you tight and then the transport will take place. Several people have seen that in dreams and vision and you will go through that portal by the power of an angelic transport. Why? Because it is new for you. You will not be able, you are not yet in a supernatural body, you will not be able to fly by yourself. Supernatural bodies will come with the ceiling of the 144,000. That's at the sixth seal, not now. Now you need still the help of the kingdom, therefore the Father has chosen and empty you out, maybe even to make you lighter from the burden of the world so that the angel can transport you through the kingdom dimension and kingdom realities into your new place. And it's a huge place. No matter if you're part of the Leabrites who will go to the third heaven, or if you're volunteered Leabrite or the Rachel Brites who will fulfill their destiny here on earth. It will be done. The portal must be passed because it is a change of time and laws from just pure spiritual to spiritual and physical, from just pure linear to linear and circular time. So the connection must be created and you we need, all need to go through that portal. Can it be the beginning of a, of a loop? Of course, we talked about that. But loops will definitely come through the missions. 
where you will go back into time, into the past, to do things, to things that you will never have been able to do before, with all the resources, all the knowledge and wisdom, because you will retain your memory through that transport, not like the world who is bound with Satan, who will not and have their memories connected. They will not retain their memories, but they will stand in perplexity, they will have a new world, and they do not know how they have come there. But you have memories, you have the truth, the truth that will set the captives free. That is your work as a harvest worker, to go there and bring forth the truth. No matter if you're part of the Church of Ephesus or you're part of the Church of Smyrna, it will all come to pass, and there will be an angelic transport that will take you through the portal. I am praying every time that the Lord will send the angels, angels for the transformation and angels for the transportation. All this is already a supernatural power because if you many people say, oh, it must be supernatural. Is that not supernatural if an angel will come into your room and transport you through the portal? That is the, the grace of the Father to have chosen you over so many other billion people in this world to be part of the harvest and to be a powerful warrior for the remnant army of New Zion. Now wait for the transport that will come. Let's see, tomorrow is the 2nd of February. Let's see if there is the access to the holy place in some kind. Can be first a spiritual one and will then grow into a physical one. It's all possible. But it's a definitely a high watch time. Two, 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 two. Five times a two. Again, grace the number five. And you are here and guided to this channel for triple grace for a reason. Brothers and sisters, wait for the angelic transport. A great time is awaiting, is, is, is waiting for us. A great time, a new destiny, a new purpose in which we will serve the Father as never before. Bringing in the harvest of the ages. The wheels within the wheels. It's not only the representation of past, present and future in one moment as we have seen, of course, with the puzzle, the round puzzle, that video. But it's also the angelic transport, and it is coming for all of us. Brothers and sisters, be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranatha.